Hello everyone, I am Arpita Vaid, a student of class 12th Medical from Government Victoria Senior Secondary School, Patiala. And in today's video, I will be performing an electroscope experiment. But before moving further, let us understand what is an electroscope. Well, electroscope is a device which is used to check whether a body is charged or not and also to tell its polarity. It is based on the concept of induction. Now let us begin with our experiment. Here is my small model of an electroscope for which I have used aluminium leaves and a copper wire. Here is a charged comb. Now as I bring the charged comb near the copper wire, you will see that the leaves will diverge indicating the presence of like charges and as I take back the comb the leaves will get back to their original positions. I hope this video might have helped you in improving your concept related to electroscope better. Now I'll take your leave. Thank you. A very good morning. This is Meena Jodhkar from Standard 12 from Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School Patiala. Today I'm here to explain the application of Gauss law, an experiment in which we can calculate electric field of a charged line of infinite length. So, here this pink color rod represents the positively charged rod of infinite length. These toothpicks represent the electric field line which are pointing radially outwards because the length of the rod is much more than the thickness of the rod. That is why the electric field lines are pointing radially outwards. These electric field lines are on the upper surface plus on the lower surface of the container. Here to, uh, to calculate the electric field we need to draw a Gaussian surface taking radius r. To know that the electric field lines point radially outwards when taken a Gaussian surface of a, in form of a cylinder. I am Tanprit Kaur of class 10 plus 2 of Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School, Patiala. Today I am going to perform an activity of physics on the topic demonstration of atmospheric pressure. For this we need two empty bottles, some cold water and some hot water. Now we will do, we will take a funnel and pour some cold water in one bottle. Now, using this same funnel, we will pour some hot water in another bottle. Now we will close both the bottles. Now we will shake the bottles. As this bottle is hot, so for safety measures we will take a cloth. Now we have to wait for some time for observation. We observe that the bottle containing hot water is going to crush as see this. Now we can observe that the bottle containing hot water decreases the pressure inside the bottle as the pressure outside the bottle is more than the pressure inside the bottle. So this pressure difference makes the bottle crush. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Tanprit Kaur of class 10 plus 2 of Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School, Patiala. Today I am going to perform an activity of physics on the topic demonstration of atmospheric pressure. For this we need a glass of water and a piece of cardboard. Now I will place the piece of cardboard over the glass and invert it by placing my hand over the cardboard. Now I am going to remove my hand 
The water will not at all come out of the glass because it is balanced by the atmospheric pressure. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Ashmeet Kaur of Class Plus 2E, Non-Medical Group from Government Girls Victoria Senior Secondary School, Patiala. Today, I am performing an experiment of balancing a ball over a stream of water. So, let's start. Caesar, I have joined mouth of my pipe through a tap and the other side, I have put it in a French without needles. So let's start the procedure. Now you can see start the procedure. Now you can see how a ball balances its way through a streaming water. See balancing its way through a stream of water. You can see. Hello everyone. I'm Kashish from class plus two. Medical from Victoria Senior Secondary School, Patiala. Today I am dealing with a very amazing activity of the repulsion of the two charged balloons. Let's see. Guys, as we know as per the properties of the charge, same charge repel each other and the opposite charge attract each other. On the basis of this procedure, I am performing an activity like now. Let's start the activity. Apparatus required for the activity is two balloons. These two balloons are tied with the help of the thread. Let's suspend these two balloons freely. I have taken a cotton cloth and rubbed these balloons. We have to rub both the balloons so that both the balloons can apply the same charge. From all the sides so that they can apply the same charge. Leave these balloons undisturbed. As we can see that both the balloons move apart from the each other. This is due to the reason that both the balloons can acquire the same charge on the surface. That's why they remove apart from each other. Let's try to find out the reason why the two balloons repel each other. When both the balloons are rubbed with the wool cloth, the both receive negative charge so they will repel each other. Good morning everyone, myself Akanksha from class plus 2 non-medical from Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School, Patiala. 
Today, I am showing an activity on dispersion of light with plane mirror and water. For this, we have used plane mirror, bowl and water. First of all, we will place mirror in a bowl with some portion dipped in water and then we will keep in sunlight. Now, see the web curve pattern on the roof and the wall. Here, water plus mirror system makes a prism and produces dispersion of light. Good morning everyone, myself Akanksa from class plus 2 from Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School Patiala. Today, I am going to show an activity on effect of length and area on resistance of conductor. In this, we have used batteries, two torch bulbs and some wires. Firstly, we will notice that in resistance, which is connected in parallel, the bulb glows brighter. And in series combination, we will see that bulb glows dim. It shows that resistance of conductor increases with increase in length and decreases with increase in area of the conductor. Tamunja, Tamunja. मन कर रहे
procedure make a large size protector on a chart and paste on the wall drive a nail into the center of d and make it a sport now attach a thread on this sport and a small stone on other end release the stone at an angle of 20 degree with vertical and note the time of 20 oscillations with stopwatch let's see Mark the stone at an angle of 20 degree and count the 20 oscillations with stopwatch. Now leave the stone. Time of 20 oscillations is 40 seconds. Now note the length of thread with scale by putting all the values in the formula G will be 986 cm per second square. Hello everyone, good morning to all my dear respected teachers and dear students. My name is Sanjana, I am student of medical plus one class from Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School, Patiala. Today I am going to perform a very interesting science activity on the topic making a spray. For this activity, we will need a water container and two pen bodies. First of all, I will insert one pipe inside water. मैंने इस कंटेनर के ऊपर टेप लगाई है अब हम इस पाइप को इस टेप के साथ ज्वाइन कर देंगे लाइक दिस कीप द माउथ ऑफ अदर पाइप नियर द माउथ ऑफ फर्स्ट पाइप नाउ ब्लो द एयर विद फोर्स Hello everyone, I'm Asmi from 12th grade here to illustrate a physics activity on capacitors in series versus parallel. Firstly, let us see capacitors arranged in parallel fashion. Before we start our activity, let's discuss about the components of this activity. I used three capacitors of 100 microfaraday each, a 5 volt battery and a torch LED bulb. So let us discuss about parallel circuits first. All components are connected across each other in parallel circuits forming two sets of electrically common points. Now let us start our activity. We will remove the wires of the terminals from the battery. These capacitors are charged now. Now we will connect it. You can see our bulb glow for a few time. Now, let us talk about capacitors in series. We will discuss about the components of this activity too. I used three capacitors of 100 microfaraday each in this activity too. A 5, bat a five volt battery and a torch LED bulb. Now we will remove its terminals and check it. These capacitors are charged. Here we go. In series, every component must function for the circuit to be complete. If one component breaks, the whole circuit breaks. Let us discuss about what we observed in these activities. We observed that bulk glows dim in series combination because in series overall capacitance decreases. Bulk glows bright 
in combination of parallel because overall capacitance increases. By connecting several capacitors in parallel combination, the resulting cut circuit is able to store more energy since the equivalent capacitance is the sum of individual capacitances in all capacitors involved. So here we end our activity. Thank you everyone. Hello everyone. I'm Asmi from class 12 E. I'm here to present a physics activity on capacitors in series versus parallel. So we will look at capacitors in parallel first. I will remove this battery. They are charged capacitors. And so the bulb glows here. And now we will look at capacitors in series. So here we notice that capacitors in parallel, that bulbs in cap capacitor in parallel glows with more intensity and bulb in capacitor in series glows with less intensity and for the less time. The capacitors in series have low capacitance whereas capacitance, capacitors in parallel have higher capacitance and less resistivity. So, here we end our activity here. Hello everyone, my name is Damanjit Kaur of Standard 12th of Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School. Today, I am going to perform an activity on weightlessness due to free fall. So, here we go. Materials required for this activity are a plastic bottle, a compass or a needle and water. Make a hole in the bottle using compass. Now fill the bottle with water and open the lid of the bottle. We can see water moving freely. Now drop the bottle. We get two conclusions by this activity. The first one is that water comes out due to its weight. During free fall, the weight of water becomes zero. The second conclusion that we get by this activity is when we fill the bottle with water and close the lid tightly over the bottle, then air present inside the bottle empties itself by applying pressure over the liquid due to which after few seconds vacuum is created inside the bottle. Due to this pressure difference between atmospheric pressure and vacuum inside the bottle, the atmospheric pressure do not allow liquid to move through the hole. But as we open the lid of the bottle, air enters inside the bottle and applies pressure over the liquid due to which water moves out of the hole. So this were my two conclusions to this activity. Hope you like it. Thank you and have a great day. Hello everyone. Good morning to all my dear respected teachers and dear students. My name is Sanjana. I am student of medical plus one class from Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School Patiala. Today I am going to perform a science experiment on the topic experiencing enormous pressure of air. For this experiment we will need a bottle, balloon and pointing tool. First of all take the bottle and balloon. And I will insert the balloon inside the bottle. I will stretch the opening of balloon and cover the mouth of the bottle like this. Now we is bottle ke andar jo balloon hai, usse inflate karte hai. Jaisa ki aap sabhi ne dekha jo bottle ke andar balloon hai, wo inflate nahi ho raha अब हम pointing tool की help से इसमें छोटा सा hole कर देते हैं. Like this. अब हम, अब हम इसे दुबारा inflate करते हैं.
जैसा कि आप सभी ने देखा जो बलून था वो इन्फ्लेट हो रहा है ऐसा क्यों हुआ जब हमने होल किया तभी ये बलून इन्फ्लेट क्यों हुआ बिकॉज जब हमने होल बोटल के अंदर छोटा सा होल किया तो बोटल के अंदर की जो एयर थी ये इस होल के थ्रू बाहर आ गई और हमारा बलून इजिली इन्फ्लेट हो गया अब हम इस होल पर थम्प या फिंगर रख के इसे कवर कर देते हैं अब हम इसे दोबारा इन्फ्लेट करते हैं ये इन्फ्लेट नहीं हो रहा है बिकॉज इसके अंदर की बोतल के अंदर की जो एयर है वो बाहर निकल नहीं पा रही है इट मीन्स जब हम इस होल को थम्प या फिंगर से कवर कर देते हैं तो बोतल के अंदर का जो प्रेशर है एयर प्रेशर वो लो हो जाता है और एटमोसफेयरिक प्रेशर है हाई हो जाता है जिसके कारण एयर बाहर नहीं निकल पाती है अब हम इस होल पर से थम्प या फिंगर को रिमूव कर देते हैं अब इससे हम दोबारा इन्फ्लेट करते हैं ये इन्फ्लेट हो रहा है अब जब हम इसे रिमूव कर देते हैं इस पर से अपना हैंड अपना थंप रिमूव कर देते हैं तो इसमें से जो बलून है वो इन्फ्लेट होता है बिकॉज जब हम अपना हैंड इस थंप अपने इस होल पर से रिमूव कर देते हैं तो इस होल में से जो एयर है एटमोसफेयरिक प्रेशर के कारण इस बोतल में जाती है और बोतल के अंदर के जो एयर प्रेशर है उसे इंक्रीज कर देती है जिसके कारण बलून से एयर बाहर निकल जाती है थैंक यू एंड हैव अ वंडरफुल डे गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ निकिता अरोड़ा स्टूडेंट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्थ इन गवर्नमेंट विक्टोरिया गर्ल्स सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्मार्ट स्कूल टूडे आई हैव परफॉर्म एन एक्सपेरिमेंट यूजिंग अ कन्वेक्स लेंस एंड अ कार्डबोर्ड रोल द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वॉज टू सी डिस्टेंस ऑब्जेक्ट क्लियरली यूजिंग अ कन्वेक्स लेंस सो आई होप यू लाइक इट वी नीड फोर थिंग्स अ कन्वेक्स लेंस एंड अ बॉल देन अ कार्डबोर्ड रोल एंड अ शीट ऑफ पेपर आई हैव मेड टू होल्स इन दिस बॉल टू वन एंड the convex lens is attached with the help of hot glue gun and the other end is empty as you can see then i have this cardboard roll the ends of this roll is as similar as the size of the lens or you can say the size of the ball then we have this now sheet. we have to fix this roll into this ball make sure that you do not rush and do it very smoothly and calmly also keep in mind that there should be a safe distance between the lens and the roll otherwise your image won't be clear so now we'll try reading this text which is quite small with the help of the printers which i have made and i have kept the lens a bit away from the text so that we may not puzzle out reading it and i hope you can see we can get a very large view of the text a very clear vision and as far we move the lens from the text we get a more clear win of what is written and this is the actual text which is quite small it is not readable but when we see it through the text we can read it very quickly hello everyone i am ashmeet kaur of class plus 2 e non medical group from government victoria girls senior secondary school patiala today i am performing an experiment that is moving against gravity so let's start I have joined the mouths of my funnels together and I've joined my two wooden sticks to make railings. Now I have taken two levels that is a lower level and a upper level. I will show you with the help of a ruler. The uh, lower level is about 4 cm and the upper level is 6 cm. <laughs> Now you will observe that if i put the funnels at the lower level it will move towards the upper level by its own so let's see so in this way i have performed my experiment that is moving against gravity Hello everyone. I am Tanprit Kaur of Class 10 Plus 2 of Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School, Patiala. Today, I am going to perform an activity of physics on the topic Understanding the Mystery of Red Sea. For this, we need two eggs, one cup of normal water, and another cup of salt water. Now, we will put one egg in normal water and another in salt water. From this, we can observe that in normal water. egg sinks and in salt water egg starts floating so 
From this we conclude that Archimedes principle works. The density of salt water becomes more than the density of normal water which makes the egg floats and it provides an uplift to the egg equal to its weight. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Myself Guzzle from class plus 2 in non-medical studying in Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School, Pachyana. Today I am here to present you an activity on diffraction pattern from the filament of the bulb. For this, we need one blade and one bulb of any rating. So what we have to do is, we have to hold the two halves of the blade in our hand and see the filament of the bulb. We will observe dark and bright patterns. If these patterns are not observed, then we will change the gap and try again. These patterns will only be observed if the gap between the two halves of the blade is very small. The gap between the blade should be of the same order of the wavelength of the light. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Myself Gazal from class plus to E. I am studying in Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School, Pachyala. Today I am here to show you an activity on three pole magnet. For this, we need two round speaker magnets and one iron nail. So let's start the activity. For this, in the first case, we will join the two magnets. Now we will attach the nail at the center of the magnet. But you can see this nail is not fixing. We, will, we can't fix this nail even if we try harder. So now in second case, we will join the other two poles of the magnet and try to fix the nail. Try to fix the head of the nail at the center of the magnet. We will observe that it is, see, it is easily fixed. This is due to the reason in the first case there was no pole at the center of the magnet. But in the second case there was a pole in the middle of the magnet due to which the nail is easily attached. Thank you.